What's up everybody? Bullet here again bringing you an M16 FFA commentary on Overgrown. As I said in my last video, I was kind of easing back into Modern Warfare 2 out of reach, but I'm starting to warm up. Still a little shaky here and there, but I'm still getting better. Demolish him. Now watch this. Oh, oh, you want to shoot me in the back? Oh, sorry. I almost pulled this off too. I would have gotten down, would have popped up and demolished his face. That's what would have happened right there. Oh, sorry. Alright guys, a little thing to talk about here is the new map pack for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, it comes out June 3rd with five, well, three new maps and two um, flashback maps or whatever you want to call them. The three new maps are Fuel Depot, um, Trailer Park, and Carnival. Yep, those are three maps. Carnival looks pretty weird. You're literally in a carnival, so some crazy shit might go down. I don't want to, don't want to be tripping during playing Call of Duty on that map because it might scare the living shit out of you. But it looks like Fuel Depot takes place on the airport for, um, where you, towards the end of the campaign in Modern Warfare 2, um, where you're, like, running through the, um, you're, like, trying to get to whatever Humvee or whatever you're trying to get to when both people are shooting at you, that mission, where you're trying to stealth through it, and then, uh, Trailer Park, just, I believe you're just fighting a regular Trailer Park, so I haven't really seen much of Trailer Park, so can't tell you anything on that one. But Strike and Vacant are coming back. Now, what do you guys think about Strike and Vacant? I mean, Vacant, it was a it was a good map on um, Call of Duty 4. It was. Some people didn't like it, some people loved it. I liked it. But I think it's possibly going to be better in Modern Warfare 2. Because you can um, sit in the warehouse and you don't have to worry about grenades as much because grenades aren't as predominant in this game. I mean, they're still important, but they don't have that 15-foot kill radius around them like they did in Call of Duty 4. So, I'm looking at Vacant to be a big winner. And Strike, on the other hand, I don't think will be as good as Call of Duty 4. Because Strike was all about nade spots, cross maps, over buildings. You had the whole thing going. But you can't do that in Modern Warfare 2. You cannot trust grenades pretty much Modern Warfare 2 unless it lands directly on the flag. Or whatever you're throwing it at. Bomb site. Yada yada yada. And as you guys also saw in my latest videos, I got a little controller. That looks pretty sick. I think at least. And it reached a thousand views. Which I'm stoked about that. First video to reach a thousand views. I was hoping it wouldn't be that Sniper Ghost Warrior trailer, but it was my controller. So, in this game here, as you guys see, I was dominating in the beginning. I was just like, <laughs> raping people's faces off left and right, just like grabbing their face and like ripping it off and shoving it up their butt. But after that, I, I'm having problems finding people. Some major problems finding people. And I have a dumbass that's running around the map tack knife in the whole time and I was too busy talking crap to RGC Creator, or Creature, or whatever his name is up there. Creature. Here we go. RGC Creature. So, I will be doing a contest soon. I promise I've been getting a crap load of subscribers lately. But I will be doing a giveaway contest type thing for Microsoft Coins, possibly Xbox Live subscription. So, just be ready for that video to go up. And be prepared, because it can go to anybody. Don't just say, oh, I never win anything. I'm not going to try to join the contest or do anything. Because anybody can win. It's completely fair, it's completely random, it's completely black balanced. I'm the only one that knows the code. And if you want me to give it to somebody else, I'll give it to Z. 
a good friend of mine. So, just look forward to the giveaway because it's going to be some fun. I love giving away stuff. I've given away FPS freaks. I've given away Microsoft points. I've given away a lot of shit. So, be ready for that. Also, hopefully my Machinima Respawn video will be posted up soon. I submitted that about two and a half weeks ago. It was a Halo Reach commentary. So, I'm hoping within the next two to three weeks that should be posted. And as soon as that's posted, I'll be posting a video up on my channel. Forwarding you. Forwarding. Forwarding. <laughs> you to that video because hopefully people can see that I'm a good commentator and you can give some good comments in there, like it, and hopefully expand my subscribers even more. Because the more subscribers I have, the more opportunities I have to get sponsored and the more opportunities you have to get free stuff. So, please Stay with me here. Big things are coming in the future. I'm telling you, big things. So, guys, I'm going to be looking for an editor soon because I'm actually going to release a montage. I was not planning on releasing a montage, but that's what a lot of people want is a montage, and I'm going to give them a montage. And sorry guys about the whole um, Halo Reach Top 10. I got a lot of uh, clips, but I really... They weren't to the degree that I wanted them to be. And also, I'm just going to save that because I'm going to start... I'm, that's going to be a weekly thing in the future when Halo Reach actually comes out. So, we'll be looking for the Halo Reach for the Sky Top 10 coming out September 1st, which is when Halo Reach comes out. Yay! So, the beta top 10 will be coming out Halo Reach... <laughs> will be coming out September 1st. So, be ready for that. And now back to the gameplay. I started this game off really strong with a lot of kills in a row very quickly. But I'm kind of starting to fall behind here, and I was hoping that getting up on top of this building would give me a little boost of kills because I got a wide view area. So hope I was hoping that would help me out, but it did not seem that way, did it? <laughs> so I'm down by three kills here. Now down, you know, down by four kills, five kills. All this guy needs is four more kills to win, and I think I need like eight. Get out of my face with the Glock. That's, that is exactly why... Well, that just exactly proves why Infinity War needed to put a beta up. Because if a beta would have been up, then... That would have been cured. So, missed the chance to tie it up right there. And, also want to shoot out something about the World at War beta. Not, not World of War, Black Ops beta, which most likely will be happening, and most likely will be a Black Ops beta, and it will most likely be at CallofDuty.com, and it will most likely be towards the end of August, beginning of September, middle of September, around there, so end of August to middle of September. There will be a link in the description below the video, so... I want to check callofduty.com out, and if you sign up on there, just like, put a message down, and tell me what's up. So thank you guys for watching my video, hope you have a wonderful day, and peace.